I guess what, y'all? Curtis, he's back, and he brought treats. Gonna show us how to cure the weed today. Take it from the tree to your face. Hell yeah, Curtis is back. He's gonna show us a very important step you can't leave off. It's all about jarring it up. Taking Getting it, it right. Getting it from the plant into this jar right here, man. And then into your pipe. I like that. Plant to pipe. How do you do that? Straight into your face, man. You gotta stick That's it That's what we're gonna do. In your face. I like to dry mine. First of all, you gotta clip it up, take it off the plant. Right. And then you gotta trim it up. Get all them big leaves off of it, get it down to the buds. I like to dry mine in a cardboard box. That's where I like it. Now, if you grow in like an armoire or something like that, you could just hang it right up in there. Cedar is most optional. If you had, if I had my option, I mostly, I would dry all of it in cedar. Why is that? It's just got a, a nice taste to it. it oh, yeah. A real nice effect. You want to put this stuff in the jar, not when it's too dry and the stems are breaking, mm -hmm. but instead when they're bending and you can hear them kind of breaking bendy breaky bendy bendy breaky. bendy breaky but then you know we what you want to do is sweat them buds out right while they're in this jar you want to sweat them out you can drop a digital uh reader in there if you'd like humidity deal humidity deal if you got a digital humidity de deal and threw it in there what do you want to keep it at right around 62 mm -hmm. that's where i would keep it Right, I was up. Prime number 62, if 63. It, if it goes up. If it goes over 65, it's getting too moist. You want to open this lid. Open let it. Let it air out a little bit. You don't open it up. What 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 happens? Well, then there's a good chance you're going to come home to some moldy buds. Something bad will happen to you, right? Like you'll get a, a weird skin disease. You might get some sort of like lung infection. Mm hmm? Or something like That's that. what I meant. That's what I'm saying. I want people to send in your pics and videos of your weed. How How is your weed doing? Where do you hang it up? Is your auto flower doing okay in your closet? Send us a pic or a video. Curtis wants to see what it's doing. I love, man. People get so creative, ingenuitive about this shit, man. They're right. Like, they can. That's the thing. It's like, what do you grow it in? An old truck tire? I have some. Don't tell nobody this. I have some in a canoe. That way I can get, you know, keep it on the move. Up and down the river. The river. Mm -hmm. Close to water, that's a good idea. I keep it tied up in the banks, and then when shit gets hot, I roll it down a mile or two and tie it up different spot. GPS it on my phone. Yeah. Technology is a motherfucker. My wife showed me how to do that. Do you think that we totally said everything there is to say about curing it? Don't just throw all that trim away. Right. I mean, you can use that stuff for making like hashish. There's all kinds of different hashish you can make, like bubble hashish, and uh, you can make the, from the, the trim full, full when you trim them down. Yeah, Curtis, y'all, he knows what it is when it comes to the weed seeds and where you get them. Of course, on the internet, get you some of these auto flowers and cure you up a jar. Thanks, man. I'll see y'all next Friday. I got shit to do.